Well, instead of spending money week after week on fresh fruit and veggies, why not try growing your own? Sounds like a good idea, right? Well, this weekend you can learn how to do it. Joining me now is Mark Young, president of the Palm Beach chapter of the Rare Fruit Council International. Thanks for joining us. You brought some fruits and I can smell them. They sound absolutely fantastic. And we're talking about the tropical fruit tree and edible plant sale, and that's happening soon. Tell us about it. Yes, it's the biggest and the best plant sale. It's over at the South Florida Fairgrounds okay. from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. We have tons of different plants, mm -hmm. tons of different vendors. And one of the great secrets actually is to arrive early because there'll be a line of about 100 people waiting to get in really? before the plant sale. Yes. That's incredible. Okay, so um, you have some different mangoes here with us, right? And these all come from different trees, right? Okay. So tell us what we have. Okay, we have four varieties here. Uh, one is Fairchild, okay. uh, which is actually David Fairchild's favorite variety. Another mm -hmm. one's called Maha Chinook. Mm -hmm. uh, which literally means great father from, uh, comes from Thailand. Okay. And then coconut cream, which when you have a perfectly ripe one, well, it tastes like coconut cream pie. Really? Yeah, it's a little bit early in the season, but it should be pretty good. And the other one is rosy gold. If you could give us um, some insight here as to folks in South Florida, we've got an awesome climate for tropical fruit, obviously, but um, what kind of plants are best for us to grow in, say, our backyard? For South Florida, I would suggest mangoes, sapodillas, avocados, and mm -hmm. star fruit. Okay. So, and, and that's the cool thing about um, what's going to be happening at the fairgrounds is that you're going to be able to talk to experts. Not only are you going to be able to purchase a, a plant, but you're going to be able to talk to experts and actually ask those questions to make sure that you're going to be able to raise this plant and raise some fruit eventually. Yes. Yeah. So we'll have volunteers there to answer people's questions mm -hmm. and to provide insights as to what will grow best in your, your area. What are some fruits that, you know, maybe are commonly thought that will do well in South Florida, but really are not for South Florida? Peaches are one. Okay. Peaches require a certain amount of chill time in order oh. to produce fruit. And they have some varieties, but they're just not very productive over here. You're probably better off planting a mango. Oh, okay. So no, no peaches. We just have to buy those at the store. All right. Um, what would you say maybe is one of the most intimidating things about growing? Because it is intimidating. I mean, you spend a decent amount of money on a nice tree and you sit and wait for a while. <laughs> Well, there is a secret. One of the secrets okay. is, buying, is buying a grafted tree. A grafted tree has a branch from a mature tree grafted onto a seed. Okay. And what that is, is the trees have to go through puberty to produce fruit. And by having a mature tree limb grafted on there, it actually goes through, it skips that process so you bear fruit much sooner. Oh, wow. So you can probably get fruit in three to five years. Oh, wow. That's yes. really good. Okay, so my lime tree still has a little bit of hope. I've only had it a year. I'm ready to give up on it. <laughs> well, what variety of limes do you have? I don't remember. Key limes, maybe? <laughs> oh, well, I, would I suggest, haven't seen a fruit. I don't know. <laughs> I would suggest Persian limes, which are also called Tahiti limes. Mm -hmm. They're very productive. The issue with citrus is there are a number of diseases affecting mm -hmm. them. So, or you can plant the mango. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. <laughs> Thinking about, yeah, I, my husband said, we could still take it back. It's been a year. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right, may I try one of these? Oh, sure. Which one would you recommend? What's your I favorite? I suggest Fairchild. Fairchild? Oh, yes. okay. All right. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, it does have a different taste than what maybe I would. What, what, what would I typically buy at a grocery store, do you think? None of those. Oh, uh, really? All the ones in the grocery store are typically brought in from Mexico or somewhere South America. Oh. And they have to actually be boiled before they can brought in because they have to kill the fruit flies. Oh, wow. And that really kills the flavor. When you grow your own, you'll actually have much better place, tasting mangoes. Those are fantastic. All right, well, let's get you up to date so you know exactly when you can attend this awesome event, the Tropical Fruit Tree and Edible Plant Sale, this Saturday at the South Florida Fairgrounds. Admission and parking is free? Yes. That's incredible. Great. To learn more, we've set up a link on our website. We've made it easy for you, WPBF.com, so go check it out this weekend.